in today's class we will derive a quantitative relationship between free energy change and potential of an electrode by using thermodynamical concept that is nernst equation and its applications derivation of nernst equation let us consider a metal rod dipped in its solution for example zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate or copper rod dipped in copper sulfate or any metal rod dipped in its solution as a result an electrode system develops for such an electrode assembly spontaneous reaction can be given as it is metal ion will combine with n number of electron is reversible with metal called as equation number 1 as this system is in equilibrium by using law of mass section we can calculate the equilibrium constant equilibrium constant k equals to concentration of the product divided by concentration of the reactant that is k is equal to concentration of the metal divided by concentration of metal ion called as equation number 2 as the reaction proceeds there is a formation of electrical double layer that is helmholtz electrical double layer HED. This arises due to the potential difference between metal and the solution at the contact or at the interface. It is called as electrode potential. This electrode potential can be defined as the potential that exists between the metal and its ions in solution at their equilibrium when they are in contact with each other. Because of formation of electrical double layer, some sort of electrical work done at the contact position at equilibrium it is called as double maximum this double maximum mainly depend upon two factors we don't know how many number of charges flowing across the interface and where is the energy available for each coulomb that is nf and e also double maximum given as multiplication of nf and e this equation can be rearranged as double maximum is equal to n into e into f. This is based on according to Faraday's law. One mole of electrons is equal to one Faraday f charge. As the reaction is spontaneous, there is a decrease in free energy. This decrease in free energy is equal to maximum electrical work done. Delta G is equal to W maximum but delta g is negative for spontaneous reaction we know that w maximum is equal to nef by substituting this value delta g is equal to minus nef called as equation number 4 similarly we can write delta g naught relation also called as equation number 5 where delta g naught and e naught are the change in free energy and electrode potential under standard conditions respectively Delta G change in free energy it varies with the temperature and concentration of the product as well as reactants. It is given by one relation called Van Toff's reaction isotherm. Delta G is equal to delta G naught plus R T ln K called as equation number six. Substitute the value of delta G and delta G naught in the equation number six. We will get this equation. K value concentration of the metal divided by concentration of the metal ion and delta G value minus NEF and delta G naught value minus NEF on rearranging and convert, converting natural log them to base 10 we can get final equation like this this equation is called as Nernst equation at 298 Kelvin by substituting the value of R and F we can get the final equation it is also a Nernst equation e is equal to e naught minus 0 0.059 1 divided by n log of 1 over metal ion concentration this Nernst equation is useful in calculating the potential of electrode and emf of a cell at any temperature and concentration knowing the potential of electrode the concentration of the reactant can be calculated the concentration of a solution in the galvanic cell is also measured by using Nernst equation. With the help of Nernst equation, we can calculate the pH of unknown solution by measuring the EMF of a cell also. In this equation, E naught is 
standard electro potential it is defined as the potential that exists between metal and its solution of unit concentration at 298 kelvin when sum of partial pressures of gaseous reactant and products is equal to 1 atmosphere pressure 